Hello, this is BSJ, and this video is going to be a brief guide on how to properly teamfight with Juggernaut. Juggernaut's a very hard hero to quantify exactly what he does in teamfights. He's a hero that has a lot of solo kill potential, and he has a lot of isolation potential, so one of the biggest things he can offer amongst other heroes is the immediate ability to remove somebody from the fight. You initiate on their core, you initiate on the support in the back, utilizing your ultimate simply blow somebody up. If that's ever an opportunity, that's one of the most important things you can do on the hero, so that's something you always want to look out for. If there's a hero that's isolated, something that if you can get the kill before the fight even starts, starting at 5v4, he still offers a lot if the fight's already in your favor, even without his ultimate. But at the same time, it's really important that you don't utilize your ultimate too early against heroes that can defend themselves. So if they do have those counterpicking heroes that allow them to defend against your ultimate, it's really important to try to hold on to it to either someone's stunned, someone's truly isolated, or until the fight's more broken out such that it's a little more chaotic and harder for them to protect their heroes. But the main focus of Juggernaut in team fights is the fact that he offers a lot of damage through spin while auto attacking and with his ultimate. So he has a lot of different ways to do damage and it's important that you simply don't get blown up at the start because of the fact that you can spin and utilize that as survivability and it's something where he most of the time team fights with juggernaut if you're not initiating with your ultimate get a little sketchy it's not exactly sure where you should be going whether or not you should spin defensively because if you get stunned and you haven't spun already then you can get bursted down but if you choose to use your spin too early then you may find yourself in a situation without it when you do need it so when approaching team fights it's really important to try to analyze what heroes threaten you from being able to spin in before they stun you so if they have like really long range stuns then it's something where if you walk out of target it's really important that you spin right off the bat to protect yourself from getting bursted it is a relatively low cooldown at max level so once you get to that point you really just have to kind of treat it like a you know a slark dark pact in terms of uh when it's off cooldown you can play much more aggressively to defend yourself with it and when it's on cooldown you have to just play a little more tentatively so that like you know you don't try to go on heroes that can just stun you like lion or earth shaker or even something like just like a ventral spear with the simple stuns wind ranger shackle hero like that that can lock you down if your spin is off cooldown. But one of the most important spells that people don't utilize in team fights with Juggernaut is Healing Ward. It's something that helps you siege towers. It's something that allows you to reset the fight. So utilizing your spin to disengage in fights is like really good. It's something where if you play very aggressively, utilize your ultimate, simply auto attack somebody a bunch, bring a target down, and then utilize either your spin or just your high movement speed to get out of the fight really quickly and loading up with Healing Ward. It basically gives you the same concept that Slark gives you where you can leave the fight, come back as full and try again. And that's why it's really important to have the mana items in the fights, um, especially something like a wand, just to give yourself the mana properly to be able to utilize healing war because all of his abilities are very mana intensive and you want to usually be able to use spin more than once in a fight. Most fights will last long enough for you to use spin multiple times. The biggest thing for him though is that he's a very good tower sieger. He's a hero that you don't only have to utilize healing war to disengage and re-engage. You can utilize it if one of your heroes is getting chased and it's a really high movement speed healing ward, so it's hard for them to bring down, but it does die in one auto attack so it's really important to note if they are ranged heroes it's really hard for the enemy melee heroes to kill it so you want to focus on kiting the melee heroes with it if they have them and if they have ranged heroes pretty much keeping it out of their grasps also what you can do with it is if you're sieging a tower it's very nice to be able to tank the tower with your hero while having the healing ward behind you such that you do not take damage a lot of fights with juggernaut i've noticed will happen around towers because you're sieging and he's a hero that does it really well it's something that helps you push the high ground very effectively because of the fact that you can just out sustain whatever nukes they're using using on you as well as your team. He's the only hero in the game that offers that much healing to his entire team consistently. I mean, it's one of the biggest strengths for him in team fights, in team sieges, and it's something where it is one of the most underutilized abilities, and it's something where if you can really master a little bit of micro with it, as well as when to effectively use it, uh, you can sometimes give your heroes almost twice the effective health pool simply because of how much healing you're able to give them. So really, the ultimate is something where, like I said, you either use it to burst somebody down or use it on an isolated target. There are fights where the best thing for you to simply do is ultimate to save yourself or in terms of like you're coming out of a spin and you realize you're in a sticky situation and if you don't do something quickly you're just gonna die and since your ultimate does make you invulnerable it is a way of survivability in order to reset the fight and it's something where you never want to utilize that just for that for the most part but if it's something where you may even just do half the health of a core hero while saving yourself that's definitely worth the trade-off for utilizing your ultimate. 
So he's mainly a hero that you want to focus on drawing attention to yourself, trying to disjoint stuns, meaning like if they have projectile stuns, eventual spirit, wind ranger shackle, stuff like that. You can easily spin before the stun hits you, stuff like Wraith King as well. It's something where you want them to blow abilities on you, if possible, before you spin. But at the same time, if they have like instant stuns, you have to be much more cautious with your positioning such that if you get initiated on by those instantaneous stuns, obviously you're putting yourself in a situation to get threatened to go from full to zero. So the main thing for him is that he offers a lot to his team, but he also serves as a frontline tank because of the fact that he has spin as such a survivable mechanic. But it's also really important to note that even though he is a frontline tank, that if you do get caught out of position briefly, he can be bursted very quickly because his, part of his survivability is his ability to make himself magic immune. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to team fight with Juggernaut, and I hope to see some serious healing word microing skills in the near future in my pub games.